Hey everyone, this is the grade five tea and ready practice test. Question number four. This is subpart one. You have your little graphic here that says no calculator, so we'll just have to go without it. The question says there are four ropes. Each one is three and a quarter feet long. So I'm going to pretend, and you're going to lie to yourself and also pretend that I'm making these the same length. So I have four ropes, and they're three and one fourth feet long. I'm not going to draw three and one fourth for all of these. The reason why I'd even bother doing that at all is simply because of the fact that it makes a lot of sense for me to have a visual of what I'm trying to do. So if I needed to put them all together, I would add. If I needed to put them in groups, I could see how they uh, can be divided for some reason, or, or if I needed to do um, some other idea, at least conceptually, I'd have an idea of what's going on. Drawing a picture is never a bad thing, plus sometimes it's nice to just take a break and draw straight lines for a second, some numbers, before you get back into the math. Select three expressions. I'm going to circle three, even though it's highlighted here, just because it's bold, at least, just because of the fact that if I only pick two, I know something is wrong. If I only pick one, something is probably wrong, so I need to make sure that I get three of them. So, as you can see, the first choice is that I'm adding three and one fourth four times. So I select three expressions that would give me the total length of all the ropes. So I know if I had this plus this plus this plus this, then I would get the total length because it would take me from here to here and you'll just assume these little spaces aren't in there at all. So yeah, that's certainly one that I would want to work with. Now, 12 fourths, that's starting to look like uh, an improper fraction to me, so I need to adjust my mixed number to make it into an improper fraction that I could see. I'm going to do it over here. Three and one fourth. So I take that number and I multiply those together. Three times four is twelve, and I put it in this little box. You don't have to do the box or anything. This is just visually how I started to do it at one point. I don't even know if I like it or not. So I have twelve, and then I just do plus 1. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. So 13 fourths. So if I don't see 13 fourths, I know that it's not an appropriate uh, version of my, or, uh, appropriate representation of my mixed number. So this one has 12 fourths in it. I will not fall for that because that is not the same thing. This one does have 13 fourths in it, and it says times four. So I have to think, okay, what does times mean? It means that I have multiple groups of a certain amount. So a rope that's 13 fourths, and I have one, two, three, four groups of them. So C is another answer choice that I could use. Now, one fourth, that doesn't make any sense. And visually, it doesn't make any sense, because I know that one fourth times three and one fourth, if I, you multiply by... A proper fraction, it's going to lower the amount. Um, so I know that I don't have this one long thing and one fourth of it giving me to three fourths. That won't give me a total. That's crazy. So visually, it doesn't make any sense. I have four of them. I can see them. So this one matches. So that's out. And then for the last one, again, I'm not going to fall for the 12 over 4 thing. I, I know what game you're trying to play, State of Tennessee, but I'm not going to fall for it. And then 13 fourths plus 13 fourths plus 13 fourths plus 13 fourths gets me to my final answer. So drawing that picture really did help me out. It may not help you out. Sometimes it's just nice to have a strategy to do. Trying to get yourself to draw a picture more often gives you a mental strategy to say like, okay, I can at least I can get this going. And then sometimes you can work it out a little bit easier than just trying to keep it all in your head. And, you know, somebody sneezes and you lose focus and this can help bring you back to the original equation. So that's it. Question number four.